Roberto Di Matteo insists he's not worried about his future. But after Chelsea announced they'll appoint a new manager by June 18th, the thought of leading the Blues on a full-time basis must now surely occupy his attention. I don't know what the future is going to hold. Uh, we are just very happy tonight um, to have uh, made history for this club. It's the first time that we have uh, won this uh, competition. Um, and it's very difficult to win it. And it's irrelevant. Yeah, I said it in the last three months. Um, I've been happy with the role I've been given. And uh, whatever the future holds for me, um, I will accept. I think he deserves immense credit, whatever. Um, and this moment is not the time to answer that question. That's a club moment to speak to him, for him to decide. But what a turnaround that the fellow's done. I mean, it's been a, an incredible achievement by himself. And he has to take credit as well. There's a lot of people who deserve a lot of credit. But Robbie's quietly done his business. No one would have believed they'd laugh at you when he took over the job that would be where we are now. We, we, we was probably looking at maybe being mid-table and people talking us all down and Robbie's changed it around. Chelsea looked certain to crash out of the Champions League when the Italian took over from Andre Vias Boas in February. Under Di Matteo's guidance, they overturned a 3-1 first leg deficit in their last 16 time of Napoli and took the scalps of Benfica and Barcelona en route to the final. Saturday's historic victory capped off a remarkable turnaround in fortunes that has also brought the FA Cup to Stamford Bridge. Uh, football and uh, football life some, sometimes is uh, unpredictable and, and crazy. Um, I don't think anybody could have predicted uh, what happened in this last three months uh, of our season. Uh, we've had a very difficult season and to finish off like this, uh, it's an incredible uh, achievement by, by this team.